Hey guys, I got a little something I want to share with you. This is something that probably nobody's heard about. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Ben, are you excited? Are you ready for this? Man, this is gonna change the fishing industry, hands down. I got my hands on the latest, greatest transducer from Garmin. Scheduled to come out around Bassmaster Classic and they've been keeping it hush. Luckily with my channel, you know, it's so big that I got some inside connections and stuff. I mean, we may not be Ben Milliken, we may not be randy block it but we got some pull and i've been playing around with this transducer for about a month maybe two months and it is unbelievable it's miles and miles above the lvs 32 which is what i originally had the lvs 34 and even the 62 the saltwater transducer it's better than anything Lawrence has better than anything hummingbird has it's been kept under wraps is why you guys haven't heard about it but it's getting ready to come out and I mean, everybody's gonna be jumping on board. Um, they're gonna be, I don't know if they're doing a pre-sale on it or anything, but it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. It is doing some things that have never been done. And there's a lot of talk in the world about AI and integrating AI into fishing. Well, that's exactly what the new Garmin transducer has done. And, you know, without further ado, I'll introduce you to this sucker. You guys ready for this? This is exciting. I was gonna do this at night, but it's a little bit too spooky at night. Here's the reveal. Introducing the new Garmin Devil Scope 666. Yeah, that's right. This little bad boy is unbelievable. It's gonna blow your mind. It's supposed to be out pretty soon. Uh, Pre-orders are not available yet. So what makes this live scope transducer different from the LVS 34 or the 62? So some of the things that it does is it actually is able to read the meniscus dosis nerve inside the fish's brain and what that does is it controls the activity level of the fish. So it can tell the activity level of the fish which helps you in your bait selection. If the fish is in a negative mood, you're going to be throwing something like a, you know, Demiki rig, uh, you know, a minnow, that kind of thing. Something a little bit softer, something more subtle. But if it's very aggressive, you can crank them. You can throw a chatterbait or something. So you're going to be able to pick up that um, based off this transducer. Another thing is it's able to tell the sex of the fish. Is it a male or a female? Um, and that can play into color choice. We all know that females tend to favor pink males tend to favor blue i don't know where that came up they came up with that but that's you know that's truth somebody said it traditionally females tend to favor pink so morning dawn uh red bug things like that will be uh color selections color choices based on what the transducer tells you as far as the sex if it's if it's a male blue things that are blue magic crawl just blue hues so that's two of the things another thing that's really cool about this the transducer is actually able to tell you if it's a resident fish or if it's a fish that's moving through the area based on the scales like uh that the acidity of the water in that general vicinity and the scale content uh basically the slime coat it's able to analyze the slime coat to tell you if that fish is raised and is if that's a resident fish if it's got a different kind of uh, acidity on the slime coat they it you know it's assuming that it's a fish that's just moved into the area that's kind of important um also is the fish post spawn spawn pre-spawn you know the egg content what's in the belly is it actual food or is it eggs it's able to measure the density of the contents inside the belly to decipher whether it is roe or if it's just shad or crawfish and that's another thing it can also tell you uh, what it is feeding on I mean, even from like 100 feet away, which is mind blowing, it can tell you just based on the density of the gut. If it's crawfish, you know, they're hard, it's gonna have a heavier return. Or if it's shad, which are soft, you're gonna get like a little bit duller feedback. Now, if all that wasn't enough, it is also able to produce a subsonic frequency that has a meditative effect to the fish. What this does is it allows you to get the boat closer to the fish so instead of making 100 110 feet cast we're able to get right up on the fish because this little guy right here 
it's it's kind of a transic. It kind of puts the fish in a trance, so they don't really know. They they're not so aware of their surroundings. I mean, it's like taking candy from a baby, guys. It's unbelievable. You can get right up on these fish, even in like five foot of water. Something that we haven't been able to do for a while because the fish have kind of gotten used to some of the pings. They've gotten used to the boats, the uh, the the water displacement of a boat. This puts these fish in a trance, and it's uh like I said, it's like stealing candy from a baby. So keep your eyes peeled. This is going to be out. They're going to go fast. So keep your eyes and ears open for the Devil Scope 666. I'm sure it's going to be out before you know it. They're supposed to release it at the Classic. There will probably be pre-orders and they are going to go fast. Hope you enjoy this video. Thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.